You are about to undergo a urodynamic study to investigate the function of your bladder. These tests will help evaluate the organs that store and pass urine, such as the bladder, urethra, and tissue that connects them. Some of the tests include uroflometry and cystometry. Uroflometry is used to measure the rate of urine flow during urination. Cystometry is used to check whether the bladder is emptying and filling properly. This animation shows how a typical urodynamic study is performed. Your doctor might begin with uroflometry. You will be asked to urinate on a special toilet in private. This toilet will measure the flow of your urine. Afterwards, an ultrasound of your bladder is made to see how well it emptied. If you have to undergo cystometry as well, a catheter will be inserted into your urethra after receiving a local anaesthetic. Then one more catheter is placed in your rectum. Both catheters measure the pressure in your bladder and your abdomen. Sensors on your abdomen monitor the activity of the pelvic muscles. Your doctor will fill your bladder with sterilized fluid using the catheter. You will be asked to cough or bear down to test your bladder reaction. Your doctor will check if there is any urine leakage and if you feel the need to urinate. When your bladder is full, you will be asked to urinate while the pressure is being measured. The catheters and sensors will be removed at the end of the cystometry test. After the tests are done, your doctor will discuss the results with you and any further treatment you may need.